So over here, you can see that I am in a blender project and now uh, you can see that there's this little circle right here and that circle is known as a 3d cursor it comes in handy very much while you're working with blender so to start using this first of all i'm going to create a new object by using this very tool right here so to do that i'm going to hold shift and then i'm going to right click in this area right here and then what happens when you do that is that 3d cursor is in this area as you can see right here I can go ahead, shift and right click and the 3D cursor goes uh, wherever. So I'm right clicking and holding right now and you can see that I can move the 3D cursor wherever I want. So I can just go around, drag it around just like this. I can go around right here and drag it around on the bottom and so forth just like that from all of the angles as you can see. So if I were to go ahead and press shift A, then you can see that I get a menu right here, the add menu right here. So you can go ahead and add the surface you want. And in our case, to make things simple, let's go to mesh right here. And in mesh, you can see that there's various options that we can select. So let's go ahead and add a circle right here. And you can see that a circle has been added. Let's just go over here and press shift right click and then if I were to press uh, shift A again, what happens is that I get the menu again and I'm able to add in, let's say for example, I'm going to add in a spear just like this. So shift right click right here. So I'm just going to go shift right click and then shift A. And then if I were to go over here on mess, you can see that I can add in a cylinder and so forth. And that is how you can work around with the 3D cursor to create new objects inside of Blender. So if you guys learn something as always, and as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.